This video is part of my complete practical CCNA course where I teach you how to configure and troubleshoot networks using real equipment. In this video, I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks with regards to Cisco Packet Tracer. Please make sure that you go through this because it's gonna help you, especially when you use simulation mode in Packet Tracer. If you don't know what that is, don't worry. We're gonna learn about simulation mode as we go through the course, but these tips and tricks will really save you some hassle and perhaps stop Packet Tracer from crashing when you're using it. So as an example, on this Windows computer, this is really, really small. You may wanna change the fonts so go to options, preferences, font, and as an example, increase the font of the application. And notice when I click apply, how this changes. So you could make this as big or as small as you like, depends on your computer, depends on your resolution, et cetera, and how good your eyesight is, but you could set that to different sizes. A big one that affects a lot of people is as an example, if I select routers here and then drag a router into the topology, such as this 4321 router, and click console CLI, notice how small this font is. Very hard to read. So on a Windows computer, that's tiny. So again, what you might wanna do is go to options, preferences, go to font, and especially for your CLI, make this bigger. So as an example, perhaps set that to 12. If you find the interface too big, you could make that smaller as an example and click apply, notice the font of the application has changed, but also the font of the console here. So this is a lot easier to read. So if I make this bigger here, notice that's easier to read. This again is your preference or your choice. Go to font, you might wanna make this even bigger. Again, just depends on what you're comfortable with. So important one would be CLI, so that this is easier to read. Again, really up to you. On my Mac, this looks good. But again, on the Mac, I could go to Cisco Packet Tracer Preferences and then go to Font and change the CLI as I've done here to 20. So change the interface values to what works for you. But very important here, under Options, go to Preferences, go to Miscellaneous and select this option, Simulation Buffer Behavior, Buffer Filtered Events Only. Please make sure that you set that because otherwise you're gonna have problems when you use simulation mode in Cisco Packet Tracer. So again, go to Options, Preferences, go to Miscellaneous, make sure that Buffer Filtered Events only is selected. And if you have problems with the buffer being full, you could change the option to Prompt or Auto Clear Event List so that you don't run out of buffer space. Most important one is Buffer Filtered Events only. And as an example, select Auto Clear Event List so that your buffer doesn't get overrun and Packet Tracer crash. You could select Prompt to get Packet Tracer to ask you if you want to clear the buffers, or you could just clear them automatically. It's really up to you. If you're unsure, just leave that at Prompt and then make sure that you select Buffer Filtered Events Only. Change your fonts as needed. So set the size of your fonts as required. And then click Apply to apply your changes, and then you can close this. Now, this is once again, not a comprehensive introduction to Cisco Packet Tracer. I just want to show you some tips and tricks that will help you in the course. Some other options, once again, if you click on the magnifying glass, it zooms in here so you can see the router better. As an example, I could drag a switch into the topology. So let's say this switch and add it there. You could just click on the switch and then click here to bring it into the topology if you like. So same with end devices. As an example, if I select end devices there, I have got a laptop, I could select that and click here to drop it. Select the PC, click here to drop it onto the topology. You can move devices around by simply moving them like this. If you wanna add a cable between devices, you have this option here called connections and there are various types of cables such as a console cable, straight through cable, crossover cable, fiber cable, phone cable, et cetera, et cetera. I'll select a copper straight through cable. This is your typical ethernet cable that you've probably seen many, many times. I'll select fast ethernet here and then select the first port on the switch. And notice I have now connected a cable from the PC to the switch. If you wanna delete devices from the topology, you could select a device and then click this option here and that'll delete the router. I could select that switch to delete it and this laptop to delete it, and then select this option, which allows me to select devices in the topology, and then I can drag them around or move them around. Now, another option in Packet Tracer is under options preferences, we've got various options to show or hide labels. So show device model labels, notice the difference there. We either just see like laptop two or 
we see what it is. It's a Packet Tracer laptop. Device names shows us what the actual name of the device is. So if I double click on this, I could change the name of the PC to PC5 as an example. Under options, preferences. So show device model labels. Notice we can see the device type, which is PC as an example, or Packet Tracer laptop. Names could be hidden, but this is the important one. Always show port labels and logical topology. That shows the names of the interfaces, but notice it's all over the place. So what I tend to do is I tend to do this manually. So what I would do as an example is put the interface number here myself. So like ethernet zero, I would decide how to label those interfaces. So if you see duplicate interface numbers in the topology, go to options, preferences, and uncheck that because otherwise you're gonna see duplicates like the following. If you see once again, duplicate port numbers, or there's too much information on the diagram, you could hide those labels. And you could also, if the fonts are too big, reduce them. So once again, going to font, you might wanna reduce the size of this and click apply so that the fonts are smaller.